Welcome back, Phoenix Points Operatives. This is your boy, Congrexus Prime, coming at you with some Chaos Engine new DLC first look review of the second mission with Dillo. Now, in the first uh, mission that I did, and actually the pre the pre review that I did on this uh, on that particular game, I decided not to do any voiceover and uh, just play the game, see how you guys interact with the video. We're going to try something a little different this time. I'm actually going to be talking about what I'm doing. This time, I'm not going to bring a vehicle to do a mission. I'm actually going to bring a full team of six. And we're going to attempt this mission to see if we can get through it. Now, I've never done this mission, nor have I looked at any footage from anybody playing the game. Because I wanted this experience to be true. So, let's see if I've learned anything in Phoenix Point. And let's go do the second mission. Uh, securing the armadillo. In this playthrough, I am playing on the, I guess, second to hardest difficulty, which is hero. And uh, as you guys can see, I have three three X's here. I'm kind of training offline so that I can actually move up to legendary and uh, see if I could, you know, beat this game in legendary. Because that in legend, I should say, not legendary. I'm sorry. So. This is the mission, uh, secure the armadillo, explore inside. This is for the Chaos Engine DLC. And the Chaos Intel says the armadillo engine lock, locks are engaged. We must find a way to override them and not going anywhere. Okay, so we probably have to find a place to uh, download something and, or upload something to it. And then we'll be able to kind of start it. I'm guessing because it's kind of like the first mission. So again... No, uh, no tank. Our team consists of a assault nightshade, sniper named Phoenix, another assault named Black Devil, a heavy Panther, Ibuki is a shadow, which she she's actually Sinidrin. She actually joined me on one of the missions, which is kind of cool. Um, that's how I got this uh, armor. And Swordfish is another heavy. So I'm bringing two heavies, two assaults, and two snipers. Um, this is kind of like early on in the game as well for me in this playthrough. So, I mean, I don't have like super duper stats, but, uh, uh, you know, we're going to we're going to do these missions anyway. And like I said, I'm doing it without a vehicle this time around. So let's hit uh, load and let's get the show rolling, my dudes. So I do stream this live on Twitch if you guys are interested in watching this. Um, the link to my Twitch channel is on the descriptions below and I do upload that stream um when i'm done with it on to youtube so if you guys are interested as well the links to all that are in the descriptions below and don't forget to interact with this video a like or a uh, comment will be greatly appreciative and if there's anything that you guys see that can uh improve my skills in the game by all means leave a comment and let me know what's up so let's see what we have going on here uh it looks like oh snap it looks like we're going to be fighting both Jer New Jericho and uh, Pandorans in this mission. huh? So it's probably wise not to engage them if we can avoid it. Now, I do not know where exactly. Okay, there it is. I guess we got to go here first. This is our first, um, our first spot that we have to kind of maneuver our way to. So we're going to go try to go as methodical as possible through here. And uh, we'll use our snipers first because they got the best uh, sight and they can detect us. This is the edge of the map. And we don't want to move up too far uh, because I want to be able to react with them if I can. That's all the reaction I'm going to get with her, huh? This is unfortunate that we have to fight these dudes because this is a, a definitely a tough fight. All right. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to not... Okay, we got more. Another heavy up there. Okay, good. See? It's good to know. All right, so do, can we get a shot on that clown from here? The answer is no. So we're just going to slide up a little bit. My turn. We can move up all the way to here. And I'm just going to start setting overwatches. Um, and reacting to what these guys are going to do. Because at the end of the day, um, we don't want to put the overwatch too far out. We'll set them up there. Where's my other assault, which should be Nightshade? We'll put it here. We'll set up another Overwatch. And with my heavies, you can't really move that far. 
so we're gonna just jump jet him and uh, try to put him into uh, like a forward position. And the goal is we can't go behind here, huh? Doesn't look like the uh, map lets you go in here. So. Oops. We just gotta wait and see what they're gonna do. What is this? Well, they can take a long shot at us. Um, Let's go. That's fine. They got the armor. We can we can take it. Um, let's see where we can go here. I don't know if I should park my dudes behind this. These drums. I don't know if they actually catch fire. I would assume they do. I mean, it'll be kind of funny, but we'll take a little cover. And that's as far as we can go, huh? Yeah. Moving to position. All right. Let's go ahead and move up our snipers as well. Full tilt. Ready. How far can we go? Watch out! I'm moving in. There. Another Pandora. Wow, there's a lot of dudes in this uh, in this board. Release the armadillo. Engine locks recovery. Yeah, it's the same thing. I would actually feel a little safer in a um, in a vehicle, to be honest with you. We're discovering all kinds of Pandorans. That's fine. Let's go ahead and take cover there and end our turn. Let's see what they do. I'm not really sure who's going to fight who here. I would assume that they're going to fight the Pandorans before they come after us. So we're going to try not to not to aggro New Jericho unless they, they engage us. So it looks like they're going to engage us. So unless they start shooting, we're going to try not to shoot. Time. We still have more Pandorans near them. This is a pretty big squad. So speed is everything. Alert. Okay. Another Pandora in there. That's cool. All right. Unless another Pandora shows up, these dudes right here are gonna be an issue for us. There we go. Yeah. Do some damage to each other. That that works for me. Man, that that's a cool looking armor, man. one thing about this game I noticed with this DLC the loading time oh there's the armadillo right there that's probably what we have to go get all right so I wonder if it's smart for us to kind of hold middle ground in this thing if that's the armadillo we have to take which I'm guessing that's what it is um, it would be pretty, pretty cool if we would set up a middle ground to take this dude. There you go. Paralyze him. Hit him again. Something I have noticed is that the uh, the enemies turns. It takes a long time for them to make their move. All right. So the middle ground's here, which we kind of need it. We also need to find a way to get here quickly. So we're gonna have to deal with one of these new Jericho dudes, which I don't want to do. But it's not giving us really a choice. Can we jump jet? Nope. That's too far of a shot. I don't want to do that. Do I have a grenade? No, no, this one. This one's What's the one grenade. That? Yeah. And nope. This that's a far shot. I don't want to take that. But I can attempt that with my snipers though. Fully off covered. 
What would that do? Well, they're still fighting. It's going to be at least a turn of them fighting here, which is cool. If I can get this guy out of the way, then I can really pull in the jump jets to try to take him out. So that's what we're going to try to do. This is kind of a risky move because I'm putting myself out in the open. But I could take a quick shot and it only cost me um, two moves. And well, I think this guy might have, hold on. If I do this, he may have a, okay, all, he doesn't have, just jumping ability. He doesn't, thank God he doesn't have missiles or, uh, or grenades. Whew. I wanted to make sure that that was not the case. All right, so we're going to free aim this, and we're going to try to take out his chest because it's the easiest shot to take from this distance, and hopefully we land it. We took his arm out, which is uh, actually ideal. Rolling out. He can't really shoot, so the, the only thing, nah, he can't do anything. He's pretty much out of the game, which is perfect. So we're going to go ahead and start sliding our people up for the capture. So let's go ahead and jump jet um, over back here, like so. And that was a uh, best case scenario for us. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to move here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do a quick aim so we can actually position ourselves in a better position, hopefully. And we're going to take another free aim at his chest. Wow, this, this person's aim really sucks. Um, she is a lower level. So we're just going to go for again for the chest piece. And we got him. Okay. That was the safest shot to take from that range. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move our second heavy. And again, we're going to try to sneak this if we can. All right, so now we're just going to move our assault people into position. I'm hoping that these clowns don't attack us. <laughs> it's a likelier story. So let's move them up a little bit and see if we can find a comfortable spot to put them where we can kind of overwatch this area Covering. and uh, the same thing with this character crunch time we're gonna move up just a little bit we're not gonna use a whole lot of dashing at least not to try not to I'm gonna keep these guys protecting um, there is a possibility they'll come out that door so we're gonna go ahead and watch providing overwatch that right there so we just got to wait and see what happens don't think New Jericho knows you're here. So we got another another free turn, I think. And then things are gonna hit the fan. Cause in all reality, they kinda have better armor than I do. Just a little bit. Except for the one sniper I have that has really good armor. The Sinedrian armor. But these dudes right here. I hope they go after each other. I hope he gets paralyzed. And then hopefully they start heading in that direction. Oh, there's another one. Perfect. Hey, keep them busy. But I got a feeling we're going to have to try to get up in here. We're going to have to use a, uh, a jump jet capable person to jump in here and just jump in there and run out with it. And we'll meet them on the, on the alley. <laughs> It'll be a smash and grab. That's good. Let them keep fighting each other. Oh, wow. There's a lot of Pandorans now. Sucks to be them. If I had a vehicle, I would have probably been in position already to take this thing. But we're probably going to have to deal with these uh, two clowns right here. They're going to paralyze him. Ah. He's about paralyzed. That's That's perfect. There's another another dude back here as well. Oh, he's done for. He's full paralyzed. I almost feel bad for that dude. But now he's just meat. Again, I'm not engaging any of these clowns. Oh, snap. 
Um, unless I have to. That's what I was waiting for. Though. Putting a little damage in like that. Holy cow. There is a buttload of Pandorans. And my... Oh, they're done for. This is, yep. That's even... I hate to say this, but that's better for us. So they get handled over here. This is a this is a win-win situation for us. I hope they all get freaking all face up. Huh? What the hell happened there? He died. That was funny. All right, so we're gonna try to again. We're gonna try to um Wow. We're kind of in a pickle right here. I almost don't want to move from the position I am right now. Cause believe it or not, we we're in a in a position of power. They're gonna they're gonna have to deal with all these dudes over here, which is perfect. But I will have to deal with some of these clowns right here. There's no way around it. So question is where's the entrance to this place oh come on <laughs> come on that's that's just that's just wrong all right um let me think about this for a second i have one move to jump in here there's no other window or nothing to go in oh that's crazy this is the only way in all right so I think the best move for us is to... Who has a grenade? I don't know if I'll be able to down this dude in one shot. I don't think so. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Ready to fire. This is... Uh, it, it'll be close. I'll be honest. Um, if not, I can take his shield down. Or take his leg down. Or take out if I take out his pincer, it's over. He doesn't I don't think he has anything else. Hold on, let me see. Stop playing. No, I don't know that. Hold on. Okay, yeah. So if I take his pincer out, he's out of the fight. Which is good. Um, chances are we can pull that off. Now with this character, can I make the jump from there to there? The answer is absolutely yes. The question is can I run up in here in the same turn? The answer is I don't know. There is a window here. So can you Oh, Okay, that's even better. That's a guarantee. All right, so if we can jump through this window and take this, um, and this character can take out that pincer or do enough damage to stun this guy, um, we'll be okay. I think we can survive. So we're gonna do exactly that. Or let me see something. How bad? How bad of a Let's grenade shot this, this would be? It may not be that good. It doesn't seem like it's gonna. I mean, there is a chance. There's that off chance that you can take the pincer out, but it's an off chance. I think the smart move will be to shoot the weapon. Targeting. This doesn't have that much armor. Even if I attack the shield, I'll take a good chunk of them out. But we're not aiming for the shield. We're actually going to try. We're trying to take the biggest, the biggest target we can, which is probably this, this pincer. So let's hope we get it. Oh, Target missed. We didn't get it. All right, can we take a shot at that clown from here? The answer is probably we can. All right, we're gonna try to snipe him. Wait, before I make this decision on where I'm gonna go, I need to make sure that I um. Let's do this. I want to have a second move after this. Get him out of the way. Ready to fire. No, we don't want this dude. We want. Oh man, we can't take the shot that I wanted. That's cute. There it is. That's the shot I wanted. All right, so maybe, just maybe, we can hit this clown. So we took his shield out, which I wish I would have done beforehand. So now I'm a little upset at myself. Um, let's move him back into some cover. So we took his shield out. That's good. Wish I would have done that first before shooting with this guy, but I thought he would have been able to do it, so I kind of overestimated that shot. Let's 
kind of my fault, but nobody else to blame but me. All right, let's see if Phoenix can take a better shot. Come get some. Okay, how come? Okay, there it is. This is the guy I kind of worry about, really, no reality. Not really, I shouldn't even worry about him, but no reality. He, if I take his leg out, he'll be in trouble. His pincers on the opposite side, so I think the best shot to do is just to just go for a body shot. What's that injury? Alive. All right, so we're gonna we're not gonna we're not gonna go for the take this time around. We're just gonna go ahead and free aim it. Let's see if we can. Perfect. Avoid our damage. All right. Oh, I didn't get the. Uh... Oh man, I, I might pay for that. That's a bad move. Zooming in. All right, we're gonna I'm just gonna put some some hits on this guy. Get him out of the way. That's perfect. Um, I don't like having my sniper out in the open like that. I, I forgot to hit the uh, the button, so that's my mess up. Man, there's a lot of targets here. That's insanity. Is there anybody else I can shoot? Well, there's no reason to agitate anybody either. So let's go ahead and do this instead. And wait. Let's hope, that, let's hope they, they stay busy over here fighting each other. This next turn, I should be able to uh, jump in there and grab the, uh, the codes. But this is going to take a minute because we got a lot of people on the board here. Oh, well, one less. He panicked. That other guy with no arms and no shoes should be egressing out of here. Oh man, that sucks. Getting ate up by your own dude. I almost feel bad. I said I almost feel bad, but it looks like I will have to fight these dudes. So kind of, kind of picking my fights right now, trying to minimize my exposure, let them, let New Jericho eat it. Dude, there's a lot of enemies on the board here. This is insane. I don't I don't think I don't think I quite ever seen this many of them. Ah! Yeah, I kind of regret not uh, grabbing that this turn. But that bad move I knew it. He should die next turn. He's gonna shoot again? Okay. That's fine. They're all panicked now. Damn, okay. But we're kind of in trouble because that one character is just a few points away from being completely paralyzed. Which is bad juju for us. Another damn. Isaron. I don't know where he's going. But okay. Alright, so. We're seven points for being paralyzed, which is not good for us. Um, I don't think I've unlocked the... Rules, bleeds, and poisons. Yeah, it doesn't have the paralyzing effect yet. I'm not that far in the game. All right, so let's go through here. Let's grab this first. Cause we're gonna have to try to sneak this tank. Uh, so now that a vehicle should be that one over there. Yep. Okay. Cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to bypass all this stuff, all these clowns, and go straight for the tank. I think that's going to be our salvation one way or the other, so. We'll jump jet across. Next turn, we should be in position. I hope. 
Just move him into position. And uh, we're going to have to pick our shots here. Old dude died. That's good. And what I'm going to do is hopefully um, be able to use this vehicle and uh, help my guys get the heck out of Dodge. Anybody who's hurt or whatever, I'll be able to get them out. we got to go out this way, I believe. We can start to try to push in this direction, which is kind of like wide open so bad here. It's crazy. Um, all right, where can I go? Can I dash? No, I, have, I don't have enough will. Oh, that's just a sniper. He won't dash. All right, so we could probably take a shot on somebody here. We're going to try to start moving our people this way, trying to get out of here if we can. We're going to make sure we hit quick aim this time, not be a dummy prime. And then we're going to take out whichever one of these characters is the easiest dude to kill. I think it might be this one, right? We'll try to take out his butt, see if this works out for us. Butt shot. Perfect. He can't heal. We're going to go ahead and move here. And we should be able to set an overwatch. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So when he moves... He'll get another shot on him. All right, so we're going to move our sniper again. Um, this is not going to give us a shot we want. I'm here. Oh, man. This sucks. Um, we don't have a whole lot of movement with this character because he's about to be damn paralyzed almost, Nero. All right. Wow, this sucks. Only have... Uh, We can either shoot or stay here. We're gonna stay here. This clown's gonna move, so we're just gonna wait for them to make the move. Here we can't shoot anybody. Here we can shoot two clowns. Here we can shoot another clown. So let's uh, let's try to move as methodical as we can move in this game. Try to get an angle. Let's go for quick aim again. And um, this character can actually shoot two times if I if I play it right. Acquiring target. But I haven't been able to to play it right. So we're just gonna try to take the best shot we can take. This is kind of a this can go bad either way for us. Yeah. Couldn't connect the shot. Freaking knew it. Let's get it right here behind old dude. And Swordfish is going to move in to this position here. And uh, what, do, what can I do here? I can shoot or I can overwatch. One of these guys is panicked. I can't remember who's who. That guy, okay. Let's see if we can get their attention. Oh, eyes open. That's right, New Jericho. Do something to these clowns. I just need one more turn from you. Taking them out. Nice work. Nice work. I'm, I'm rooting for you guys. All right, so we got a lot of panic dudes. That's good. That's less damage that can come to us. Mind fraggers. Oof. Depends what move they make here. I wish I could see what's going on over here. All right, they're they're coming after us now. Come on, my dude. You don't got return fire, really? Bet. Oh, that was not a great shot. I'm actually disappointed. No, but I'm actually real disappointed. Because that would be a better shot. Ah, oh, come on. You gotta make that work, man. A lot of myths and woofs and poofs. Now we're gonna take damage. Uh, yes. 
It's better than taking bar the damage or Alright, so we're not exactly in the greatest position ever. Um we can do some damage if we choose to. But I wanna really get this vehicle if we can get it right now, let's see. That would be dope. I think we're gonna be darn close right here. Let's try this. So we're gonna go in. Target in sight. Get in. Yes. And we can fit four people here. So what I'm gonna do is fit all my slow people, all my snipers and stuff, put them all in here and leave my jump jet dudes out. That's what, that's the goal at least. Let's get the tank into uh, position so we can take a shot possibly and run in. Let me see where the hell's my... This guy I'm gonna have to run him in regardless. I can't use him. Um, so how far can we go? One step. One step. Ready for action. Okay, so I got I got to put them, I got to put the tank here. Okay, perfect. So we can take a shot and then assess assess our situation afterwards. So let's do let's do our shooting first. This character can only shoot. Uh, well, we'll see. We might be able to take a couple shots here. Let's see what happens. I got a plan. Get these people out of here. Let's start with that first. Okay, that's good. We got a panic, dude. I'll take that. Um, we have two moves. Um, I can't. Oh man, it sucks. Well, yeah, I can. I can. I can still take the shot. Where's this clown at? Oh, that's perfect. He's out in the open. Okay, that's cool. We can play this game, buddy. All right, so we're gonna take quick aim. Just gonna clear the board as much as we can. Because uh, this is about to get spicy for us. What's our dude at? Oh, we, we can't take the shot to the right? Oh, okay. There it is. Oh, that's it? Oh, that's a, that's a crap shot. These are all crap shots, actually. This would be the best shot if we can land it. And if not, ah, it's okay. All right, we still got that movement. So I got to make sure I park this, this tank like right here. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's park the tank. Uh, perfect, I think. Right here, we'll get everybody. Uh, everybody, but the heavy guy. All right, we're gonna get a lot of breaks, which sucks. Wish there was a way to just tell it go. Wow, this armadillo got mad armor. I just realized that. It's probably uh, one of the strongest tanks in the game. Come on. Uh, you see, this is this is what I need. I need this game to just, like, do what I need to do when I needed to do it. All right, so we can move right there. That should be right in range for you. Yep. Let's move you in. Get you in there as well. Well, we have two shots, so can we make it with one is the question. The answer is no. Thank God I didn't take the shot. Let's get you in there. Two. And the guy that's paralyzed will be the third guy to get in there until I get my jumping dude out. So let's get you in there. And I don't think this guy will fit. Nope, we don't have any. All right, so we're going to stay on foot with this clown. Um, we're just going to move up a tiny bit here. Try to get some cover if we can, man. Good Lord. Oh, this is actually a good a good spot right here. We got I'm on the move. cover and we're elevated. So we're going to keep methodically moving with this guy outside. And keep our injured in and uh, kill who we got to kill. This is probably our best shot, so we're going to take it. Maybe that will panic somebody else. Two more will points. Nobody else got panicked. All right. That's fine. So we can now take a shot with our dude right here just give the word while we wait for the tank to get closer nice Bam. he did get he did get a little bit poofy there on the next uh turn i'll be able to get my heavy out or just leave him in there we'll see we're getting the heck out of dodge my dudes 
have some free ammo. We got kind of lucky on how this map is positioned for us. And bringing in the the jump capable um, team is actually pretty beneficial. I should be it for him. Man, I feel bad for those Jericho dudes. They got some face suckers on them, man. Alright, you gonna take a shot at me, bro? For real? Alright, that's cool. I got plenty of armor. We'll deal with you in a second. I'm gonna use the old okie doke on that dude. I don't know why this guy's sticking around. I guess he just wants to die. It's weird. Oh man, somebody's about to get face sucked again. Mm. That's a crappy fate. Alright. So what we're gonna do is that we could... It takes two to shoot, so we can move up two whole blocks. Which is what I'm planning to do. But I'm gonna move one block, eliminate this clown. And then move the other block. And eliminate the other clown. And if there's anything else in the way, we'll, we'll use the tank on it. I just want to make sure I don't use up too many movements. Alright, so we're going to use the old okie doke trick on these dudes. Um, Ready for action. He is a heavy, I believe. No, this is the guy we got to use right here. I don't know these guys by name. I haven't been playing this long enough, this this team long enough to know them by name. But I, uh, eventually I, I will know who they are. Alright, so let's pull them out. What the heck? I'm prepared. Yeah, there we go. Do we have uh, will points? Even if I don't have will points with this with this dude, I should be able to shoot. Well, no, he has return fire, right? No, he doesn't. Okay, good. Perfect. All right, so even if I don't have will points, which is fine, we could technically just use our pistol if we wanted to. Well, we have... Wow, man, we got 17 will points. What am I talking about? Let's go, Prime. Let's put this dude to work. Ready to engage. We can free aim you. Get you out of the way quickly. Um, yeah, that's all we can do for now. So, I pull out the other sniper, which I believe her name's her name's Ibuki, I believe. There she is. Pull her out. Yeah, she's doing with the Sinedrian armor. Okay, cool. This is perfect. What we're gonna do is Let's see if we can shoot our guns twice. That will be dope. All right, boom, One less to done. Worry about. Oh, so we should have a free path all the way to the house this way. So let's put her back in. I thought we had another shot, but we don't. Um, we do have a heavy in here. I believe her name is Pathfinder, yeah. We can pull her out. She can jump jet home. And then we'll just, you know, we'll just start moving her. Next turn, we'll jump jet. We'll hold that thought. We'll get old dude in here. He's the slowest dude on here. See, what, what's cool about having uh, heavies is that they don't really need, they have so much mobility by themselves that you don't really need to put them in the tank. But these dudes, they kind of need it. All right. We're gonna take it easy. I mean, we could technically almost get the heck out of here on the next turn. And I say, why not? Let's get out of here. Let's not. Let's not push our luck. Let's, let's get out of here on the next turn. Sombradil is cool looking, man. I like it. This thing is like a. It looks like a cross between like like a. I don't know how to put it, man. Like a uh, like a turtle. And the actual uh, tank from Aliens, you know, the movie. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, it looks dope. It's one of my favorite looking tanks. Alright, so. He'll definitely be able to get out this turn. Um, we don't have to worry about taking a shot. We'll just take, take a little cover. And, uh, yeah, we'll just wait. We'll just hold the hip. And this turn. Yeah, we knew he was gonna die. <laughs> And it, unfortunately, it, uh, the new Jericho people, oh, snap. They're mad about us taking their tank, man. They're not happy.
they're going to have to cover a lot of ground, so this is not going to work in their favor. So bringing in a team of six, um, two snipers, two heavies, and two assaults uh, actually worked out pretty good for me. I mean, I'm sure other combinations will work as well, but I decided to go with something a little different this time around. I'm prepared. And uh, I'm kind of happy I did. It was actually a lot of fun. All right, so let's... Uh, this person will be able to jump out on the next turn. We're not leaving until, um, you know, that person can get out too. So we're just going to position this dude here because anything can happen in this game. Not a problem. And uh, let's go ahead and position ourselves to um, oh, get out of here. So I can get that dude in here. I don't want a mind fragger or something stupid coming back around and biting me in the butt and taking my character. So that's not gonna happen. No man, no man gets left behind. I let you shoot. This ain't gonna hit anything. But that's just wishful thinking. That was just for fun. They shot at me, so I shot back. So. Man, that's got to be uh, just, ugh. I don't know, watching them Aliens movies always forever scarred me, my dudes. <laughs> Having some stuff stuck in my face like that. Well, I get nightmares out of that. Receiving loud and clear. All right, so can we jump over? The answer is absolutely. So, yeah, this is it. This should be the final turn. We're going to see what we unlock to. And then I'm going to just play normal with this, with this crew. I'm Offline. Good. Like I normally do. I have a different team and a different playthrough that I'm, like I said, streaming live. So if you guys are interested, by all means, come check it out. It's a lot of fun. I promise we got some good dudes that are on chat and good moderators. And we have a good time. So that'll be on Twitch uh, backslash congrats. But you don't have to do you know, all that type, and all you gotta do is just hit the descriptions below, and, and it'll take it right to it. I promise. So let's see what we unlocked, and then of course I gotta do, check out my geoscape and do other things. But that doesn't—that's not gonna be recorded. That's off camera. Action. Bias West sure knows how to make death machines, and once I break this apart. We will know too. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have fun with this. Uh, I will probably have some pretty interesting tech ready next time you visit. Yeah, this thing is pretty nice. It has a lot of hit points. The cannon's short range, but I mean, that's a lot of hit points that thing has. So we're just going to go ahead and replenish all our stuff. Um, let's go see what... Um, what they unlocked real quick before I shut this episode off. I just want to check it out and go to marketplace. Oh, snap. Also, we have stuff for the armadillo now. Lightweight Adler Pioneer Jericho. Inventory slots plus three. Armor negative ten. Speed zero zero. Okay, that's kind of weird. Why the hell would I want to put that on there? Um, new Jericho reinforcing plate. Reduces the effect of piercing damage by half. Wow. That's actually pretty sexy. Um, oh, it's not the chaos buggy. We actually can we can actually buy it. It costs 23 uh 23.80. And then what is it? experimental armadillo technology? Further research into the inner workings of armadillo has yielded several interesting experiment improvements while they have not been field tested. May the market assures you that okay so i guess either this unlocks the armadillo or this unlocks even more technology for the armadillo that's interesting there is another mission uh to get more upgrades i believe so we're gonna there's some there's some stuff i didn't talk about in the last video like this uh, reinforcement caterpillar track um allows you to um run over with the the uh phoenix point uh Scarab tank lets you run over mine fraggers, uh, mar maradons, and worms. Um, that's huge, man. Because that sometimes, like, there'll be like three or four freaking mine, mine uh, fraggers just hanging around. 
and it'll be nice that if I don't have ammo, I can still run them over, you know, or not waste ammo to kill them. So this is really nice. I mean, I, I, I'm actually thinking about investing in that eventually. So yeah, we have a second, uh, a third mission, which I'll be making a video for and releasing in video format. Now, if you guys watched my first episode and enjoyed that more than this one, let me know. Or if you enjoyed this one more than the second, than the first episode, let me know too in the comments below. That way I can gauge how I'm going to operate mission number three. But thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day or night. Light, love, and peace. Congrexes. Checking out.